What's up, y'all? It's your girl to me, Kiara, and you are tuned in to yet another video here on my channel. So, yay for you! Thank you so much for tuning in today. And if today's your first video, hi, I'm to me, Kiara. And if you came here for some college do's and don'ts, let's just get into it. Let's get into the tea, and I'm gonna tell y'all everything. I'm gonna give you the. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, cause there's a lot of things that you should do. And a lot of things that you should not do when going in college with being a college student. So let's just get into that tea. Alright. So I have my phone here just for some notes. So if you catch me looking at my phone, don't come for me. I'm just trying to make sure I give y'all all the tea. So my first tip would be to be social don't be afraid to like go out if you meet a group of friends and they're like oh later we're doing x y and z don't sit in your room and be scared like oh should i go out should i hang out da, 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 da. yes go outside be a social butterfly especially in those first like few weeks when you're a freshman because that's how you're gonna make your friends sitting in your room staring at the wall or looking at old pictures of you and your friends from high school is not gonna make you friends you need to go outside and be social so that would be my first tip and my next tip kind of goes with that it would be to join some clubs if you see something that looks interesting then just give it a try you know what i'm saying or at least try to learn about it you know i know my school has a club fair at the beginning of every semester with like all the clubs and one of the members and maybe even like the advisor that you know helps with the club will be there and they'll kind of give you a little spiel on what each club is about so at least go to that figure out like maybe pick one thing or two things that you're going to do because that's also another opportunity for you to be social and that's definitely an opportunity for you to get involved on campus that's a big don't don't be afraid to get involved on campus even if you're a freshman or even if you're a transfer and you feel like you're a senior or whatever the case may be get involved because you're paying this money to go to school so you better make the best of it get get all your acquaintances and go to those clubs do what you got to do because one you can learn a lot of things that you that you wouldn't learn in the classroom from doing those clubs i know i certainly have and two you can find out that you're interested in some things that you didn't even know you were interested or pick up some new skills and at the same time meet new friends and build relationships with professors so you can get that recommendation or whatever you're going to need to you know help you on your way so basically you just go to the club just figure something out pick something and do it um my next tip would be to exercise i feel like that caught people off guard because i don't really hear that in a lot of college tips videos but definitely exercise i know me personally an issue that i had was i was being lazy so don't be lazy but do exercise because i danced like from when i was a little girl all the way to my senior year in high school whether it was like competitively on my school's dance team or outside of school just all the time basically so i was always more fit and i just naturally eat healthy or even if i was eating junk it didn't matter because i was always dancing and working out but once i got to college i stopped dancing i stopped being on the dance team all that stuff because i just that's not where i wanted to focus my time anymore so i started to like not gain weight but i just started to notice changes in my body so i started like doing like pickup dance classes at dance studios nearby or i watch vlog a lot of these videos and i'll work out that way i try to eat better because you need to still be taking care of your body just don't think just because you're young or whatever the case may be that you could just eat whatever the fuck and not work out and you're gonna be fine like i mean unless you don't care but i care so i started exercising and i mean i think i look good I don't know what y'all think, but I think I look good. So I would definitely say exercise is a good tip. So my next tip would be to have fun while you're there and go to parties. Like, get lit. I don't care if you're a freshman. I don't care if you're 24. I don't care. Like, get lit. Have fun. That's what you're there for. You're in your 20s or your late teens. You're living like make it an experience go outside like have fun i'm not saying you need to go out all the time because i definitely don't like my friends are probably watching this video like what are you talking about you barely go out but i try to go out enough like maybe once or two times a month every two weeks or something like that i'll go out 
that's enough for me like know your limits know yourself obviously like if you don't like to go out od much okay maybe you go out every two weeks or here and there but don't never go out don't miss out on the experience because it's definitely worth it and i feel like that's a part of college don't don't sell yourself short don't be scared to go out like find yourself a good group of friends from that club you went to because you took my other tip and just go and have a good time experience yourself but there is a don't to that don't be stupid like know your surroundings and i say that to say that like if you are in college already then you know that college can be it can be an interesting place and i feel like there are obviously going to be different types of parties different settings so know yourself know the kind of setting that you like to be in and where you're going to be comfortable and have a good time there don't push your boundaries obviously try new things hang out with new people but if you feel yourself feeling uncomfortable or just not right in a situation or a place that you're in leave and don't go back like don't be stupid and don't end up somewhere that you know damn well you should not be so that would be my don't for that my next tip is actually the opposite of that but my next tip is go to class that sounds so weird because i know a lot of college students be like i don't go to class i don't go to class it doesn't matter my school has a really strict attendance policy so i kind of have to go to class i only get to miss five classes and then after that they take my grade down half a letter so i don't have time to be missing class but regardless of that if you go to a state school a private school whatever you're paying a decent amount of money for these classes and that's the main reason why you're there beyond the parties the clubs the experiences you're there to go to class to learn something to get a degree don't waste your coin or your time by not going to class because sleeping in that bed and taking that nap it's not going to get you a degree. It's not going to help you pass your test. It's not going to help you do none of that. I mean, obviously, take your personal days if you don't feel well. You know what I'm saying? Or like, let's say I go to class every day this semester. It's the end of the semester. And just for my mental health, like I'm just overwhelmed. Maybe I'll take a day and I'll be like, all right, today I'm not going to class. Like I just need the day to myself. That's one thing. But don't just miss class every like other week and think like that's cute because it's not you're literally wasting your money and your time you might as well not even be in school like i just don't understand that go to class like that is not cute people really let me let me just get off that topic but that's that tip on to the next one this is a roommate tip which i know y'all are looking for because a lot of people have roommate problems but be open and honest with your roommate if you don't like something that your roommate's doing if you don't like you know how they're living or whatever the case may be be open and be honest now do you have to be rude no but you can definitely say to your roommate hey i don't like the fact that you did this this and this or hey i think you should clean this up or hey can we have a talk later about i don't know you playing music loud whatever the case may be even if you feel like you're being nitpicky you are living with this person so you are sharing the space and just as annoyed and frustrated as you can get sharing the space you have to understand that the other person can get annoyed and frustrated too so just talk to each other talk it out and try to work it out but they can't read your mind and a closed mouth never gets fed so if you don't tell them that you feel like they're being messy or you feel like they talk too loud on the phone they're literally not gonna know so there's nothing they can do to fix a problem that they don't know about so the best way to go about that is honestly just be honest and open with your roommate and hopefully that works out for you but with that being said remember that your roommate doesn't have to be your best friend they don't have to go with you everywhere you guys don't have to be you know joint at the hip i feel like a lot of people come into college with this assumption that you know me and my roommate are going to be best friends it's going to be great da, da, da. like if you are in that situation amazing because i've been in that situation before and it is really fun but if you and the person that you're living with aren't working on a friendship level or maybe you guys are just really different you don't have any issues but you're just into different things and you hang out with a different kind of people or whatever the case may be that is fine just worry about your living situation like i said be honest if something's bothering you but be okay with the fact that your roommate isn't always going to be your best friend with that being said that goes into my next tip which is don't be afraid to move on and move out like if a situation is not working it doesn't even have to be a fight da, da, da. if you really feel like i've tried to be open and honest with this person but it's just not working we don't live together well 
move out or talk to them like do you think you want to move out or should i move out like what is the situation or even if you don't want to talk to them go to your ra see if there's an open room somewhere and get up out of there like you this is not a permanent living situation there's definitely probably an opening somewhere in your school or probably even in the same building or maybe one of your friends have like an empty bed because their roommate moved out and boom move in like get up out of there because sometimes it's just like it's just it's hard to find someone that you could live perfectly with so if you need to move out move out and honestly it doesn't always have to be some kind of issue that you two had because i've moved away from roommates before and we're still friends we're still really cool to this day so it doesn't always have to be like something happened you just feel like you don't you and the person don't need to be living together anymore then you don't need to be living it together anymore and that's that it's not a big deal move on and move out like i said my next tip goes back to school don't be afraid to use your campus resources so if your school has like a writing center where they help with essays or a math center or anything like that some kind of tutoring thing if you're struggling in a class or struggling with writing something whether or not you feel like you know you can get past it on your own just go and get that outside help because it's really likely that regardless that outside help is going to boost up your grade to some degree sometimes even if i feel like i wrote an essay really well i'll submit it to my writing center and have them help me edit it because if there's anything that i could fix or any errors that i might have missed then you know that helped me and that saved my grade a little bit from deducting any points or anything like that and honestly the help is free so why not just do it sign yourself up for that and yeah just don't be shy because getting help doesn't mean you have an issue it doesn't mean that you're struggling in the class or anything like that it just means you want the extra help you're trying to get a good grade another tip that i have would be to stay organized so i used to have like a dry erase board calendar and i would write like what days i'm gonna do assignments what what days the assignments were actually due you know what days i'm gonna hang out with my friends what day where i had free time i would really try to organize it or i also have a planner where i would where i organize everything that i'm doing during the semester that way i can see my week and see like where do i have free time when can i do this and i feel like that really helped me from procrastinating because what you don't want to do is procrastinate it's just a headache like in the moment it feels good to be like yeah i'm not doing that paper right now but it's still in your mind so it's low-key giving you a headache it gives me a headache because i'm like all i'm thinking about is the paper while i'm not doing the paper and it's just annoying because then down the line when you do want to do stuff now you're gonna have to take the time to sit down and write the paper or to rush and it's not gonna come out as planned so just organize yourself say okay at tuesday at two o'clock i'm gonna do this this and this and you're more likely to get it done than you are to procrastinate when you have everything planned out which is another really good thing that goes back to some other tips that i said being in clubs and being involved and keeping yourself a little busy makes it easier to stay away from procrastinating because i feel like when i don't have room to procrastinate it's less likely to happen if i know i'm busy all day this day or this day i'm doing this this and this i don't want my only free time to be me doing the work that i procrastinated so i'm more likely to do it when i scheduled myself to do it plus it just helps you to stay organized so why not be organized and my next tip would be to share or buy used textbooks or rent them. So share your textbook, buy a used one or rent a textbook. I say that to say that a lot of times I take classes simultaneously to a lot of my friends. So if she's going to buy the textbook because she has a book voucher or whatever the case may be, I'll just use it with her. Or let's say I have two classes with the person for one of the classes, I'll buy the textbook. And then for the other class, she'll buy the textbook and then we'll share and that really saves a lot of money because textbooks can add up and be super expensive so definitely take the time to be like okay i don't need to buy every textbook and my don't for that is don't buy every textbook like there are some classes that they tell me about the textbook and we literally never crack it open it's never used no homeworks in it so i could have just wasted 200 dollars buying this textbook to never use it in that would just be annoying i would be tight so i never buy the textbook when they first tell me to i'll buy it when we get our first assignment or something like that but 
I'm not gonna buy it off rip before the class even starts and then waste my money and another thing with that is check your school's library because my school has a lot of the textbooks in the library and we're allowed to scan them or take pictures of the pages so you could also save yourself money like that instead of going and buying the textbook you just use it in the library or scan the pictures and take it home to do your work at home and my last and final tip this one is a great tip is accept free food if there's an event go because one that's an opportunity to socialize make new friends all that good stuff get involved two that's an opportunity to save you some coins and get some free food sometimes the food is good like at my school we usually get pizza or like cookies or hot chocolate or i love hot chocolate maybe that's just that might just be a me thing but there's like heroes all different kinds of things it really depends on your school what the food is but there's a lot of options like we have a soul food day where we have like mac and cheese and fried chicken and yams and all this stuff like why would i pack up on that it's free i will literally go to an event with a tupperware pack it up and bring it home because we're not about to do this i'm gonna get my money's worth like just think about the fact that your mother or your father or yourself or the bank if you took out loans is paying thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for you to go to school so you better get that, that free food like get that free food go to class join a club do all that good stuff because it's just getting your money's worth in the long run and a don't for that is don't spend all your money on going out to eat because you could spend that money on going out with your friends, doing something productive, or just having a good time opposed to spending all your money on ordering dominoes. Like it's just, it's just not worth it here and there of course, but it doesn't have to be all your money. And also when you do order food, ask a friend because you guys can always split delivery fees or split the cost and things like that to save you some coin as well. And that is it for my tips. I hope you guys learned some good tips and tricks about being a college student and just being in college in general. Or if not, you just enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you like videos like this, definitely make sure to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below if you want more like it. I do have some other college videos here on my channel, so definitely go and check those out because there's some goodies. And I wouldn't want y'all to miss out. So yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.